New at six tonight, the struggle to control a small town draws the attention of federal agents. It's newcomers versus longtime residents in what's now a voter fraud investigation. CBS 2's Lou Young has the story from Sullivan County. At the edge of the Catskill, some people in the tiny village of Bloomingburg welcomed the FBI agents who poured in Thursday. One resident took photos, more than 40 agents raiding over a dozen locations, the offices and property of developer Shalom Lamb. We've been hoping to get, you know, things investigated and maybe it's finally happening. They're worried about a takeover of the village beginning with Lamb's controversial townhouse project currently being challenged in court that would triple the population here. Numerous building renovations that started without permits that have been ordered stopped and a series of rental properties owned by the same developer leading to a sudden flurry of voter registrations in the last month right before an election next week. You have to be a resident before you vote. You don't vote and then become a resident. These people don't actually live here. They move in on the weekend and then they go back to wherever they came from. The people he's talking about are all Hasidic or ultra-Orthodox Jews and the sudden property purchases and developments seem designed to turn Bloomingburg into a religious enclave like the ones closer to the city in Rockland County. An attorney for Shalom Lamb acknowledges the voter fraud investigation saying the FBI is reviewing allegations and they are only allegations. We feel confident when the dust settles, the investigation by the authorities will have uncovered no wrongdoing. The developer's opponent are choosing their words very carefully, worried about being labeled anti-Semitic. They insist the real issues here are fairness and legality. It's not about who's going to live there. It's about the number of people that are going to live there and the, and the, the, the slyness. Voters in this village, whoever they are, go to the polls next Tuesday. We're in Bloomingburg, Sullivan County. Lou Young, CBS2 News. A state court in Monticello this week ruled that any challenge votes cast in next week's election will have to be sequestered until a judge can decide their validity.